afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Bhavana, sir. Okay, Bhavana. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Bhavana, introduce yourself. My name is Bhavana. I am from Nalgonda district. I am an engineer in the area specialized in the B.A. Computer Science and Engineering from the Aurora Technological and Research Institute with an aggregation of the 70 percentage and I did my intermediate in the Sri Chaitanya Junior College and I have the knowledge on the C sharp, ASP, .NET and SQL Server and I have done I have done the projects in my academic year and internet worms and its detection analysis. Thank you sir. Okay. Okay Bhavna, how much share you yourself in C sharp or in .NET out of 5? And right. Okay, okay, fine. So, what is the difference between static polymorphism and dynamic polymorphism? Static polymorphism means a method which will bind at the compile time and it will execute it in the runtime. It is called as a static polymorphism. And in runtime polymorphism, a method which will bind at the compile time, it will not execute it at the compile time. And it will execute a method which will execute it in the runtime. A method which will bind with the runtime will execute it in the runtime. So it is called as a runtime polymorphism. So what is an array and its types? Array is a sequence of the um, array it is stores the multiple data in in a in the same in same data types. So what is the difference between single dimensional array and multi dimensional array? Single dimensional array re represented the data in the sequential manner like a list and, and multi dimensional array represents the data in the form of the grid like the rows and columns in the form of the matrix. Okay. What is the difference between class and structure? So basically class, class is a value type, class is a reference type and structure is a value type. And in the in class when we create an when we create an object, it will be allocated to the heap memory. And in structure, when we create an object, it will it will be allocated to the stack memory. In class, we use the stack class keyword. And in structure, we use the struct keyword. Okay, what is the purpose of this and base keyword? This keyword is used to represent in the current class object or instant. And this, using the this keyword, we can invoke in the in instant member, in instant, current class instant members. And base keyword is used to represent in the current class, current class instance superclass instance and using the using the base keyword we can access the superclass instances from the derived classes and subclasses so what is the difference between string and string builder string basically string is an immutable object that means once we created the string object we cannot we cannot modify it and in string builder String builder is a mutable object. Once we created the object, we can we can modify, we can retrieve, we can replace or append the object. Okay, what is the uh, difference between value type and reference type? Value value type in value type the data will be stored in the stack memory and in the reference type the data will be stored in stored in the heap memory and in value type the data the data variable the value type variable will contain the actual data and in the reference variable will contain the address of the data so in value type in primitive data types except the general types are called as a value types for example numerical floating and character these are the value types and in the primitive in reference data type primitive except Except the general data types, all are the primitive data types. Okay, what is the purpose of the ASP.NET? Can you explain it? ASP.NET ASP is, is a web technology or the server-side technology to develop the any applications 
we using we use the dot dot net we have to use the dot net dot net technology as a as asp dot net okay then uh, what is server side technology server side technology which will execute the code which will execute within the web server is called as a server side web tech server side technology and the server tech server tech server side technology we can implement in the server server side example asp asp and asp dot net using the server side technology we can develop the web web pages also okay what is type casting Typecasting is converting a one data type to the another data type. It's called as a typecasting. In typecasting, there are the two types: implicit and explicit. In implicit typecasting, smaller smaller data type is converted into the larger data type. For example, into to the long and double. And in explicit typecasting, larger data type is converted into the smaller data type. For example, long to the int or. Okay. So, what is the difference between DBMS and RDBMS? In DBMS, in DBMS, the data, the in DBMS application stores the data as a file, and in RDBMS, data stored in a table or form. And in DBMS, in in DBMS does not supported the client server architecture, and RDBMS supported the client server architecture. And DBMS does not support the distributed system, and RDBMS supported the distributed system. Okay, Bhavana, that's all about it.